Jimmy. Come on, we're late. What do you mean, we? Hi, Pat. Been waiting for you. This is Jim Williams. He's in my class at school. Jim? Hi. Jim, this is Dave Gray, my brother-in-law. I'm sorry we're late for our appointment, oh, Dave. Well, how can I help you? Well, well I... <laughs> yes. I've been trying to figure out what to do when I graduate from high school. I... Well, most of the kids have the same problem. We all want to get jobs. I know I want to work, at least until I'm married. <laughs> and I know I have to work, even after I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have the same problem myself. I guess everybody gets the willies worrying about what to do when he gets out of high school. Well, I know Pat is kind of interested in working here. And, well, frankly, I've never thought about working in a bank. Well, neither did I until I began looking around. When I graduated from high school, I... I, I knew I wasn't going to college. I couldn't afford to. So I wanted to find something with a future. I wanted something good and solid and secure. Something, something I could grow with. What do you mean? Well, as long as there's money, they have banks to handle and service it. I, I figure both are going to be around for a long time. So I figured that a bank was a good permanent place to work. I would think so. And banking isn't just a job, it's a career. I hadn't thought of it that way. And besides being a secure, comfortable place to work, you... Well, I don't know. You feel good working in a bank. And why shouldn't you? The people you work with are friendly and happy because they share a common interest. They're doing a job that's well-respected in the community in which they live in the whole country for that matter. They've got good jobs and plenty of chance to get ahead. They know it and they like it. It's kind of stimulating to work in an atmosphere like that. And you like working in a bank because banks help millions of people save for a better future. You know, large or small, every man's bank account is a personal and important thing to that man. It's nice to be trusted with it. And banks lend people the money to buy that house they've been dreaming about. Also lend farmers and people in industries the money they need. In time of war, banks lend millions, in fact, billions of dollars to help finance companies that make the materials we need in order to defend ourselves. Big and little, banks serve and help everybody. Mm -hmm. That's all wonderfully interesting, Dave. But I still don't see what jobs there are in banks for me or Jim or anybody. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's, um, let's take a look over there. That's Judy Parrish. She's a teller now, but she hasn't always been one. She came to work for the bank right after she graduated from high school. Started by doing clerical and messenger work. Then Judy was given a simple job of arranging checks in alphabetical order. She learned the importance of accuracy by running the proof machine that sorts and adds checks all in one operation. Soon, Judy moved into the bookkeeping department. At first, she did simple but important jobs, such as adding short lists of checks. Then she was assigned to the posting and filing of checks for individual customers. She quickly learned the customer's signatures. She'd know a forgery if she ever saw one. She began to see what was behind all the steps she was handling. And she was getting a good fundamental knowledge of the banking business. So by now, she was ready to advance into a teller's job. It's been a kind of natural growth into this job for Judy. She learned to recognize signatures and names, and now the names and signatures are alive. She's meeting people and helping them personally. Each job has taught her a little something about the next one. So you see, everything you do helps you to learn. And everything you learn helps you to move ahead in your banking career. You grow and learn as you work. Yes, one job sort of leads into the next one. That's right. You're always in training for the job ahead. 
That's why banks promote from within their own groups of employees. Take me, for instance. When I came from high school, I was a messenger for a while, like Judy. Worked through several jobs and got to be a teller quicker than I thought I would. Also, handled the job of general bookkeeper for a while. Gave me a wonderful bird's eye view of everything that goes on in a bank. Then I was back on the human side of banking, opening new accounts, meeting the people who were beginning to build for their future. And when I was promoted to my present job, I, I got an officer's title. Now I spend a lot of my time interviewing borrowers, making loans. But of course, all this didn't happen overnight. You have to plan and you have to work. It takes time to grow and learn. Well, I can see. But, gee, how do you get started? What do you have to know to get a job in the bank? <laughs> well, banks don't hire just anybody, Jim. But, uh, if you're honest, have a high school education, did pretty well in arithmetic... Hey, I'm pretty good at figures. Well, there's a lot of figuring in a bank. <laughs> oh, and there's, uh, there's a lot of contact with people, too, working in a bank. So you should like people. Not only that, they should like you. Well, sure. Let's put it this way. Working in a bank appeals to people who like a dignified, secure job with good pay at a place that has a lot of prestige in the community. Mm-hmm. Of course, it would be nice if everybody could have a college education, but even if you haven't got one, you can help yourself get ahead by studying banking. What do you mean? The American Institute of Banking. What's that? It's an educational service within the banking system to help bank employees grow and learn while they work. American Institute of Banking courses teach you the fundamentals of banking, give you a good solid basis for moving up the banking ladder right from the start. In several hundred cities or towns in the country, there are chapters or local schools. When I was in the service, I kept taking AIB correspondence courses. So when I got out of the Army, I not only came back to a job with a good future, <laughs> I came back a little ahead of the game. Well, there's one thing certain. It isn't hard to sell the bank's products. Everybody likes money. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but banks don't really sell money. The thing banks have to sell is services. Your knowledge, your ability, your honesty in taking care of people's money. You know, all of a sudden, I'm kind of interested. Banking's good to be interested in. Banking isn't a flash in the pan. It's a solid lifetime career. The opportunities to advance, to move up, are as good as you want to make be for yourself. And, well, if you, if you work hard, do your best, you'll find as much true happiness and as much real security in banking as you will in any other business in the world. Hmm, I don't know what could be better than that. But what about people like me? I'm not going to work all my life. Well, even if you just work in a bank for a while, Pat, the things you learn about checks, about money, about people, those things stay with you and will help you later on. Hmm. Yes. Well, if you two men will excuse me, I've gotten shot. 